Welcome to Selenium Training. In this video, I will be taking up an example on the website facebook.com. Wherein I have to print the names of all the friends. We go to the profile link and under the friends tab I have to print the names of all the friends so what we will do I will create a new project in Visual Studio called as web driver example and inside this project first of all we have to include the DLLs of the web driver so what I will do is that I right click on the references folder and we will add those DLLs from the nugget package manager so we search for the web driver and over here you can just download it click on OK and it has downloaded and we install the selenium.support DLL as well alright so both of these DLLs have been included into our references folder as you can see over here now what we have to do we have to probably go to this facebook.com website and have to extract the names print the names of all the friends so first of all what we will do is that we have to find these username and the password field in order to log in into our account so I will just inspect this element and it says that it is an input tag with the ID as email so we will just find this username field with this ID so first of all we will redirect to the uh, facebook.com website and I, I do control plus dot and include the reference for the web driver class that is openqa.selenium is equal to new firefox driver and I include the reference to this also that is openqa.selenium.firefox next we will just set the URL of the driver is equal to facebook.com website okay and then probably I will just maximize the browser as well dot maximize and then we will set the implicit time weight as well dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait for say ten seconds okay so now next what we have to do we have to just extract this username and the password field so we will write driver dot find element by dot ID and the ID is email okay and then probably we can just send the keys as well that is its dot thakur at gmail dot com okay and then next we will just find this password field that is an ID with the value is equal to pass so I write driver dot find element by dot ID is pass 
and then we can send the keys as well that is ashish at the rate one two three and then probably i will just press the enter button as well keys dot enter in order to login into the account all right so now let let's just run this much of the code to see that whether the whether it is enabling us to enter to login into our account or not so i just run this and over here you see that it opens up the firefox browser takes you to the facebook.com website maximizes the browser and then probably enters the username and password and lets you log in into your facebook account okay so we have successfully logged in into the facebook account now the next thing we have to do is that we have to probably click on this profile link and then and then in the profile page we have to click on this friends tab right so what we do is that we will just inspect this profile link and the friends tab as well So here you can see that it has this xpath so we will find this profile link with the xpath So I may write driver dot find element by dot xpath and then we have this xpath and then after that we can say click click on that link all right and then next after clicking on this profile link when we go to this profile page we have to probably click on this friends tab so i will just inspect this friends tab as well so over here you can see that the xpath of this friends tab is not accurate as it contains this number which will keep on varying every time when you open your login when you open your facebook account so what we can do is that we can just inspect this element with any other attribute say we can inspect this with this attribute that is data tab key which has the value as friends so i will just generate the xpath with this data tab key attribute so i will write driver dot find element by dot xpath and then we may write data tab key is equal to friends all right and then probably click on that link okay so let's just run this much of the code and see whether it clicks on the friends link at or not takes you to the facebook.com website enters the username and the password logs you in into your account and then clicks on the profile link as well and then clicks on the friends tab as well so the next thing we what we have to do is that we have to print the names of all these friends that are being listed in the space below so what we can do is that we can just find the common property among all these friends 
in order to print the names of all these friends we can just find some common property which is common for all these friends so if we try to expect inspect these friends over here you can see that it is an anchor tag that is under the div with the class fsl fwb fcb and if we look into the second friend it is also an anchor tag that is under the div with the class as this value if we try to look into the third friend this is also an anchor tag with the div under the div tag that has the class value is equal to this so we can just extract all these friends with this very xpath that contains that that is an anchor tag under the div tag so what we will do is that we may write driver dot find element since we have to find all the friends by dot xpath div that has the class attribute is equal to this value and then anchor tag all right and this it will return since it will it will return us a list of web elements so we may write friends is equal to this and then after that we can just count we can just see how many total friends are being present in the list so we may say total friends is friends dot count okay and after that i may write console dot read key in order to read the output all right so now let's just see what how many total friends are present clicks on the profile link clicks on the friends tab and then here you see that the total friends are 20 all right so now we have to print the names of all the 20 friends so for that what you can do is that you can simply write the for loop i less than the total number of friends then i plus plus and then simply you can write friends dot text all right so now let us run the code once again so here you see that it clicks on the friends tab and if we look into the output total friends are 20 and the names of all the friends are being listed in the console window all right so this is how you can print the total number of friends from the facebook.com website all right